Well, it's the kind of thing that makes you wish you'd paid more attention in your high school physics class. In the world of science, it doesn't get any bigger than this, the discovery of the so-called God particle. It is very, very small, but it is a very, very big deal. This may help to explain how the building blocks of the universe have been pieced together over time. And a group of scientists at the University of Victoria has played a big part. CTV's Louise Hartland has the story. It's um, a milestone. A milestone Dr. Michel Lefebvre has devoted much of his adult life to. After 25 years of research and tireless hours of work, Lefebvre and a team of other physicists at the University of Victoria can proudly say they have helped unravel one of nature's biggest mysteries. This tunnel deep beneath Switzerland is where physicists have been smashing protons together, hoping to find a specific particle in the wreckage. And after more than a thousand trillion attacks, we have a new piece of information about the fabric of the universe. It is thought to be the Higgs boson. Discoverers say within 99.9% .9 certainty it is the so-called God particle. This boson is, is a very profound thing that we found. Okay, this is, this is not like other ordinary particles. It, it really is, is, we're reaching into the fabric of the universe at a level we've never done before. Scientists have long assumed something glued electrons, protons, and neutrons together, giving them shape and mass, allowing them to become everything we see in our universe. Now that theory has been proven correct. It's clear that without the Higgs mechanism, particles have no mass, and if particles have no mass, uh, you and I wouldn't be here. There wouldn't be any atoms, there wouldn't, <laughs> there wouldn't be any, any material. You know, the whole universe would be a big a big soup of gas or something. The theory was first proposed by Peter Higgs in 1964. Uh, for me, it's really an incredible thing that it's happened in my lifetime. <laughs> a sentiment like, uh, echoed at UVic, uh, where Lefebvre is proud to show off a model of the team's the work on the Atlas project. We, uh, the components were built around the world, including in Victoria, and um, were transported to Geneva and then lowered in a cavern where this sits. This sits in a cavern underground, about 100 meters underground. But their work is not over yet. We know we all still have a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, this is not the end of the story. Uh, quite the contrary, it's the beginning, a very exciting story. A story that could lead to a universe of other questions. Scientists are itching to answer. Louise Hartland, CTV News, UVic.